Hi YouTube. I'm building my computer today. And uh I know you guys can't see me very good right now. Just give me a second, I will be in front of the camera. But the only things I've done so far, I took off this uh dust filter off the top just so it wouldn't be in the way, falling off or anything like that. Let's stick it to the side and I pulled off the uh the front panel. Uh, the only thing you have to do to pull off the front panel, there's like these pegs, see those? They're just like going in little holes on the front, so you just kind of pull it out. There's a handle on the top and bottom. It pulls out pretty decently easy. Um, you have to give it a little bit of force, but... And then it's got these little magnetic filters in here, dust filters. I just pulled the tape off of those. those that's like the only things I've done so far. Oh, and I, uh, I installed the IO shield on the back, which is pretty easy. You just, you literally, you just figure out which way your motherboard's going to go in there and just make sure you put the IO shield in the right way the first time so you don't have to take it back out, which I did have to look uh, into that to figure that out, but still. All right, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take the doors off this case because... I feel like that'll be easier if I just go ahead and get this ready, and then we'll go ahead and start putting the CPU into the motherboard. So you see I just, those kind of just slide up, the hinges open like that, and they have just like a little pretty simple hinge you just slide up. I'm going to put them in my bedroom on my bed, so I don't mess with them. And the second one, go ahead and put it on the bed. Just want to make sure I'm nice to this. All right. Okay. Now that I got that off, I'm just going to put this kind of to the side a little bit by dragging it softly. Yeah, I put a towel under it because this table's kind of old, like I said, and I didn't want to be moving it around too much. Make sure. Yep. Okay. We'll get this big honking guy out of the way. So just gonna go ahead and lay it down. Should be best if I lay it down like so. And I'll scoot it a little further out so it doesn't block block views. Yeah, it should be okay. Alright. So now I am building this on carpet, which does kind of freak me out a little but it's the best room to do videotaping in my house so has to be done I guess but I'm not wearing socks I got a static chair that doesn't roll around or anything so hopefully everything works good all right so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna look at this really quick so I just pulled up my retention arm and I tried to figure out what orientation this goes in. So there's my arrow. I got another arrow right there. So we'll go ahead and bring it to the camera so you guys can see. Let's see. You guys can't see that at all. There it is. See in the very right above my finger there. There's a little tiny arrow there. And then on the back side, there's an arrow there, right there. So this is your side that links up to the other arrow. I'll go ahead and show you that. ASRock sends this nice little like styrofoam backing for this, which I kind of like. And I feel like I can pick it up pretty safely. It lets me get a decent grip on it. Okay, let's see here. See it in the uh, the bottom left corner of that uh that thing there. It's like a little tiny black indented arrow. So that should be where I'm going for. Okay. Oh, need my need my 
my process yet. I just have this uh, motherboard sitting on the box. I did get everything out of the boxes last night and just like leave them out of the boxes because I figured that'd make things easier. All right. Now, I just want to be dumb careful with this. Really, really careful. Everything good enough. I didn't know if I needed to grind, ground myself. All right, here we go. The most careful insertion ever. So I figured out which ways these go in. I'll turn it this way, I feel like it's gonna be easier for me. I'm just gonna... Oh, there it went, it dropped right in. And then they said, give it a little wiggle. Linus Tech Tips said give it a wiggle to Make sure it still knows that you love it no matter what. So I did so. Try not to shuffle my feet around too much. And you just push this arm down. Try to go really nice and slow and easy. There it goes. All right. So that is that in. Now, my screwdrivers. Let's see. I'm actually not sure if I have the right size screwdriver for this in this set or not. But I'm going to check. Maybe. This looks like it's pretty close. Yep, that looks like it's it. All right. It's a little screwdriver kit, just a little cheapo one. But it works pretty okay. All right, so next we're gonna put on this. All right, sorry guys. I was making sure this was going to be facing the right way, but after the um, after thinking about it, I think I'm just going to put it this direction and just deal with it because these screws are tiny and they're blocked. Like I'll show you guys, they're blocked a lot by the uh, the fan shroud there. Let's see, it's it's this screw here, and you can't really see it, but. You can't see it at all, but it's it's kind of blocked out. Looks like it'd be hard to get to, so I'm just gonna leave it. This should look fine. So what I'm gonna do is just I'm actually gonna sit down with this and try not to shuffle my feet too much or move too much in the chair. Turn it this way. Give it a look, just put it right down. Trying to line up with the screw holes here. Yeah, there we go. That looks like it's uh, pretty lined up with those screw holes. Yep. I just wanted to softly put it down on my processor. Oh wow, these screws are so blocked out. That fan shroud feels like it's in the way. I might end up having to take that off. Okay, so I'm just gonna screw that down just a little tiny bit. And try to screw down another one. These look like they're kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna kind of cross pattern them. And just barely screw each one in. Let's see if I can get them in each just a little bit. Let's get this out of the way. Going in crooked to that, or anything it doesn't look like time will tell. I think I got all of them in a little bit too, so that, that should help. Yep, feels feels on there pretty secure. I don't want to miss anything up. This one feels the least secure out of the bunch, but I think it's good. Let's see. Like, sitting nicely. 
It looks like it's sitting nicely on the processor to me. And as uh, I said, when you get this on, you can like pick it up, handle it like that. Yeah, it seems pretty, seems pretty legit. Um, those don't seem like they're gonna, they're not going anywhere, I don't think. So, yeah, okay, cool. So we got that ready to go. Okay, so let's see here. Alright, so I think I'm going to throw my RAM in here. I just have to make sure I was doing everything in the right order, I guess. And to see how I installed this M.2 because I couldn't remember exactly how it was done. But I got it figured out. I get my RAM open first. I also took a snack break. Okay. So they said install into two and four. Ooh. Oh, okay. I know how this goes. Cause I gotta align this thing. Is it better actually aligned here? Let's try it this way. Okay, yeah, it does line up there. I just had to make sure. tiny trouble clicking my RAM in, but I think maybe I figured it out. So I'm going to try to take it off this box really quick. I still have this nice little cardboard protector under it, but I think it's too much give on the box. You can push those in maybe. I'm just not feeling like it wants to go. Let's move the box out of the way too. And they definitely are lined up right. They do have the... Uh, little tooth key or whatever you want to call it right over the hole. Some people said try pushing one set in first. Let's see, I'm going to do the other side first. Wait, is it clicking all the way? I believe she may have clicked in all the way. Let's make sure this side is aligned. I think that is a on very good now. I know you guys can't really see that very good. I saw the other one this way, put it this way. That way you guys can see it a little bit better over the CPU fan. We will try the second stick now. Try to be careful with this as much as possible, so we put it this way. And my little tooth will align because it's the same way as the other one, obviously. But yeah, you got it. You do have to kind of look at that little tooth to make sure it's going the right way. All right, so I'm gonna try to push the other side in first this time. Oh, 
there it went. Sounded a little violent, but it did go in. It's not quite as far in as the other one. There it goes. both clicked into place <laughs> see so yeah you just really they said to maybe do one side first if you have the model of motherboard that clicks in that only has one of these little things that you take off so you gotta pull these back first but I would advise um, <clears throat> yeah I would advise popping that out first and then pushing in the side that doesn't pull out click them down first and then click the other side in and then maybe just a little bit of gradual force on each side and those feel they're definitely in there so now I'm going to try to get my N.2 I think I got the right screwdriver for it now try to put that in <laughs> just put this stuff to the side Probably save all my packaging just in case I do want to resell this stuff or anything like that. Oh, I also needed to plug this fan in. I think the fan plug in is right here. Ooh. Is there a direction that this goes? Well, it feels like it goes this direction. I'm not going to twist it around if I need to go the other direction. That didn't seem right. Well, that says LED fan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, CPU fan one. That says LED fan, so that's a different kind of fan. Oops. Maybe like this. That's what it looks like. Maybe it is like this. Oh yeah, it is like this, I see. Had screws in the place there. Little clip, so there's a little clip to hold it in that has screws on the back. Kind of grooves in the place there. So now our CPU fan is plugged in. I don't know if there's like a way for me to get that out of the way. Like if I can put it in the sink or what, but for right now that's good. Okay, so the end that too. I got the screw ready. <clears throat> so this motherboard, has like a little standoff that you can screw into different spots. It's uh, right here right now. So that is the correct spot for my M.2, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the correct length away or whatever you want to call it. And this M.2 does kind of have a little heat sink on it, but man, that's kind of hard to grab without touching anything that I don't want to touch. So I just have to be really careful. And then it's got you can tell just from looking at the teeth on this, it's got an opening to where it just keys right into place. So you know uh, which side to put it on. It's There's no question. You can just tell the, the contacts match up perfect this way. You just gotta, if your standoff isn't in the right place, you have to move it depending on what size M.2 you have. Mine's a 2280. So it should just go right in. You kinda gotta put it, let's see if I can make it right. Oh, that is not ideal. Let me see if I can make it to where you guys can see this without making it too hard on me. So it's gonna go kind of like this, get an angle, slide in there, make sure you got it in there all the way, I think I do, and you kind of just drop it down until it's flat with that. You don't, do not put it in, like try to put it in like that, you gotta kind of put it in at an angle, and then you should have, it should, fit to where there's like a little opening on the uh, edge of the M.2 and you just screw this in right there on that edge there's like a hole in the edge maybe if this is gonna fit okay yep, it does go in there I had to find the right screwdriver off camera for this I think it's actually going in though 
is that you know the way. I believe this is the right screw I tested beforehand. Let's try again here. Let's just see if this is definitely in here all the way. not working. Oh, there we go. So it does click in. I was tripping. I will cut that into a nice funny compilation of me trying to use the wrong screw for you guys. Not me trying to use the wrong screw, me trying to uh, put this in when it's not ready to go in. All right, it's in now. Sweet. And this is a one Phillips head, and this is a zero. Okay, let's see. Next step. I think the next step is putting the motherboard in. Should be. All right, let's put the motherboard in. So, let's see if you guys can see this good. If I'm going to go to like right here. Oh, let me put this other screw away so I do not lose it, so that's a bad idea. Okay, you guys should be able to see that okay. Okay, so... My standoffs in this case, there's a lot of different... In this case, can you can put a lot of different boards in this case, like different size boards. And, oh yeah, that's right. They said you should use this as a handle, didn't they? And it's definitely going in this way. So, how oh, far is my wheelchair? Can I go through? Oh, let's get this going the right direction here before I try to throw it in there. So, got the orientation right. Let's see if you guys can see where the auto shield goes. Yes, you can. Sweet. So, Gonna pick it up. They said you could use the fan as a handle. Alright, guys, I figured it out. Had to go find my Leanne Lee manual and see what screws were meant for what. Just the regular screws. So, these weird ones like this. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's got like a wider top part. Please focus. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. So, yeah, not that one. Just the regular screws, little screws. Had to take a Red Bull break though. Just trying to make sure I do everything right here. So, put just the regular screw up in here. It's pretty easy. Alright, and next. Those are pretty easy to get in there. So yeah, I got my, my RAM in, I think, good. My CPU installation went off pretty good. My cooler is in good, I think. Oops, there we go. Try to cross-thread that through for, cross-thread that screw for a second. Oh, we got it fixed. But yeah, I got my CPU, my cooler, my and got two my RAM. I already got my I.O. plate in on there. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not going anywhere. That's uh that's on there. So I think that is good. <laughs> I 
I will figure out what I'm about to do and get back to you guys in a second again. Probably comes the graphics card next. I believe that we will have to see. Alright, I'll be back guys. I'll probably cut this for you. Alright, so I had to figure out which PCIe slot to use. And I did indeed figure it out. It is the top one. I'm actually thinking, let me, let me look at this really quick. So I actually only need to take out the two, not the not the top slot, but the second and third part of the back of this case. Well, I guess it is. Uh, we'll say that. This bracket is just not in position. Right? Right, I'm gonna have to use my phone flashlight. Check this out. Hmm. It might be in all the way. It just seems a little off. All right, so I am I think I got my graphics card in here all the way. I know that was an issue before. I'm just going to set it all up, and hopefully it's in there good enough. Um, everything else is in place. Off camera, I went ahead and put in the power supply. It's pretty straightforward. You just slide it in there and then screw in these four little screws on the back. And then I took all my, my CPU fans and routed their cables to where... You can't see them from the front, or not my CPU fans, my channel fans, and my CPU fan. So, you can see, you can't really see any any wires from the front, except for that little wire back there, which isn't that bad. And then the uh, wire from my CPU fan there. So that's not too bad. I might be able to find a way to get rid of that CPU fan wire, but it's just not, just not very long. Um... If I could, I would put it, I would take it around that, but I don't think it's going to fit. I can try really quick one more time. I'll give it another, another college try. Thing on here, pretty much all I have to do is just cable management and stuff. I'm probably going to just end it at this, because I'm going to have to actually figure out what all, what all I plug into where. I figured out where the fans go, and that's about, <laughs> that's about as far as I got. <clears throat> Hello. Finally got everything working. Well, I mean, technically the PC has been working for a second, but I had to uh, get a flash drive and get Windows 10 downloaded. I had forgotten to do that. And, uh, yeah, so that took me some time. My internet is super slow out here in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully that will change here soon, but we will see. Uh, so, yeah, everything's running right now. Uh, as compared to before, um, I really... Oh, I think the last thing thing I taped, I couldn't figure out how to get my graphics card all the way in here. Um, I did get it all the way in. It just took some finagling. Um, but I still don't have a screw. I know you can't really see it, but that bracket is still not screwed in there. So I'm going to have to get a longer screw. None of my screws fit. So I still got to wait for my, my other friend to come look at it. Like I said, I went into all this pretty blind. Um... So right now I'm just downloading. I'm downloading Smite right now. Um, I got the Windows 10 going. Uh, downloaded that last night slash this morning. Um, put it in this morning. 
Uh, the only other thing I didn't do on camera is just put in my power supply and cable management, but you literally just slide your power supply in and do four screws. Um, as far as where everything plugs into, I was so confused about that, and that's why, uh, for a second there, I don't know if I actually videotaped it, or I'm thinking I didn't have it on video, but uh, this, my power button, and that little Red Devil logo right there were both blinking, and they weren't, uh, they weren't like solid like they are now, and I was like, oh, that's not a good sign, I think I got something going on, and that also, uh, my, my uh, RAM and my um, M.2, neither of them were running for some reason. <laughs> So I'm guessing I didn't have power to my motherboard, so I like went and just kind of jostled a few plugins back in, and I also figured out I didn't have my uh, my hard drive plugged in uh, correctly. Um, I didn't have power to it. I had it plugged into the motherboard, but just not power to it. So I had forgotten about that part. So um, I'm gonna do another video here soon when I'm gonna get a new graphics card and I'm gonna get some probably some more fans and I'm going to get an anti sag bracket for this bra uh, graphics card or for my new graphics card or whatever whenever it happens um yeah so I'm going to get a couple more things for this and when I do that I will probably make another video and I'll share everything that I learned and like I will do a full um like either like a point of view or I'll have like somebody hold my phone because now I actually know how to hook everything in pretty good I think so yeah next time I will I will indeed show you guys and it shouldn't be shouldn't be like my next full build I'm just gonna upgrade this build but I will want to take out um, some of this stuff like some of the like the uh, the motherboard um, I'll probably take out everything honestly and reposition everything um, because I couldn't find my one extra standoff for the motherboard, so I just have it with one less standoff. Uh, I figured out that other hole is not, not actually a standoff hole, uh, so I thought I had two missing, but it was just one. I guess for some reason this motherboard has seven standoff, um, holes, so I, I couldn't find another standoff, um, until later, and so I just left it, and it does work. And it's got six in there out of sevens. Looks the Red Devil looks pretty good, honestly. I think I did okay on my cable mate. Oh here. I don't think I showed off what my cable management looked like. So let me just nicely slide this open here. So let me turn on my flash too. So I love this case because there's definitely just a bundle of cables in here, but you can't see any of it. Like if I close this, which you would always, always have that closed. Ooh, that's not closing all the way though because I guess I don't have this screwed down enough right here. So maybe my cable bundle is too big. I'll just go back in and screw that down a little bit more. But um, yeah. I love this because all you can see is just those little cables right there. That's it. Like, just looks really clean from the back. The front is like, it's okay. My my buddy told me that you can get aftermarket cables and stuff and make this kind of stuff look better because that looks that looks garbage. But I mean. And then, like, you can see there's some other ones back there that you can still see. But other than that, like, the main, this part right here, if you look at this, there's no cables running. I took my CPU fans and, like, tied them kind of up. Or not my CPU fans, my channel fans and stuff. Or system fans. The CPU fan, the cord just goes straight up, but you can't see where it goes to. These, though, I wish that my... Like the bins, I couldn't make them tight enough because those cables are so crazy. So, I don't know if I need like a better power supply or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, you can see where they're, they don't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. I'm pretty happy with it. And that's, that's my video guys. I'm 